ankle fractures, and X-rays. The mortis view is about 15 degree of internal rotation. The medial clear space, it should be 4 to 5 millimeter or less, and it should be equal to the superior clear space, which is between the talus and the distal tibia on the mortis view. If the medial clear space appears widened before surgery, then there is a deltoid injury, but if it doesn't, make sure you don't have Supination external rotation type 4. You may need to do a stress view before surgery to prove that the deltoid ligament is injured or not injured. The tibiofibular clear space, it should be less than 6 mm on mortis view and it is the distance between the medial border of the fibula and the tibia incisura. Now, as regard the tibiofibular clear space, you want to make sure it is not widened, because if it is widened and the ankle mortis is unstable, this will allow the talus to shift because the syndesmosis is unstable. And one millimeter of shift of the talus will give 42% decrease in tibio talar contact area and in the future accelerated arthritis. How about the overlap, tibio fibular overlap? About 10 millimeter in the AP view. And again, you measure that from the medial border of the fibula. In the mortis view, the tibiofibular overlap should be more than one millimeter. Another measurement called the talocrural angle. I don't use it, I don't think it's very valuable except an exam question, but the lateral malleolus is longer than the medial malleolus. But if the fibula is short, I can rely on two other X-ray measurements that can help me. Number one is the shinton line of the ankle. The subcondylar bone of the tibia and fibula should form a continuous line around the talus. So if the fibula is short, the spike of the fibula will be too proximal. If the fibula is long, the spike of the fibula will be too distal. Always look for that broken line from the lateral part of the articular surface of the talus to the distal fibula. It is the Shinton line. The other findings that will tell you if the fibula is short or not is the dime test. So in general, look for the sprung mortis. Look for the spike of the fibula to proximal. Look for the broken Shinton line Look for the dime test and also look for medial clear space widening. The joint surface have to be parallel and no tailor tilt. So you're going to get a lateral x-ray and you're going to see in the lateral x-ray if you have a posterior malleolar fracture, if you have any talus subluxation if you have any other associated injuries from the talus or the calcaneus. And the most important thing on an ankle lateral view that you will see the type of a fracture. Is it a pronation external rotation? Is it spination external rotation? And you will see that from the direction of the fracture. Or is the fracture comminuted? So you can say, this is pronation abduction injury. I hope this lecture was helpful. Thank you very much. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.